Oh my goodness, these garage sales were so good. Garage sale with me, guys. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. amazing right all right let's get started all right we are gonna start out with some plush finds i can't remember i think these were like a quarter or 50 cents they were very inexpensive um i probably should have grabbed a few more you guys are gonna hear me say that a lot i feel like when i watch back my videos i think oh i should have got that i should have got that i should have got that and then it would have been added to my huge massive money pile but anyway, I did grab some cute items. That little guy right there, um, I need to either throw him in the washing machine or put him in a bundle because he needs, uh, he's a little dirty. But I found some cute stuff in here. There are a couple of Victoria's Secret pink dogs, and I'm going to show you those. Uh, one of them is Pelotonia, and those do, um, they, they comp out a little bit higher. So if you ever see those, definitely pick those up. Um, everything that I'm popping up screen shares of are my current listings. I do typically price on the high end of comps and then I offer best offer. And I also send offers out to buyers on a regular basis. So that gives me a little bit of wiggle room and, um, that way people can make me offers also. All right. Uh, there were two Victoria's Secrets in here. And I did end up grabbing both of them just because the price was good. So we're coming up on it right here in a second. So here's the first one. That one says vote. Um, so I went ahead and grabbed that one. That one did not comp out as high, but it looked like it still had the original price sticker on it. I didn't grab the Care Bears. Maybe I should have. Um, I know most of them are bread and butter, but sometimes you can find some good ones that go for a little more. Let me know in the comments, would you have grabbed the Care Bears? I usually pick up finger puppets, especially if there's multiples. I'm looking at the tags. I'm looking for anything that's vintage, maybe um, harder to find items. I do pretty good with sock monkeys. Uh, just a good bread and butter item. This little guy, there was a lot of cute plush here. Sometimes I think, should I just grab all the plush, just buy the whole box and then do little small lots? Um, maybe somebody would just pick up little lots. This was an awesome find. It's a salt and pepper shaker. Um, really, really cool. Um, I did pick that up. And this lion is amazing. It is flocked and it's a bobblehead. I did not get those. Maybe I should have. Not something that I really know a whole lot about. But I always pick up these uh, nodders or bobbleheads. I'm going to show you here. Um, the actual little piece that hooks into the back... I thought it was broken, but when I got home, I was able to bend it back into place. So I was super excited. It actually does work and um, wasn't broken at all. It was just bent. So I was able to fix that. So that was awesome. This sale was amazing. Um, and actually, I got here later in the day. So I was shocked that so many big money bolos were left at this sale. I did pick up this calculator. This is one of the graphing calculators. And these do sell very well. Um, so I do have that listed. And it was tested and working. So nice little pickup. I think I paid $5 for that. All right. We are going to go over to this table. And do you see these uh, pink Barbie cases? super score. Okay, so I did not end up getting the vehicle in that little back piece, but I did pick up this pool and it was missing some of the items. So I decided to part it out. Um, these two items have sold so far and here are the other items that are still listed. So basically I took every piece that was identical and put them in small lots. So, you know, you've got the rails. This was a raft. 
Um, so the diving board sold and two of the pool rails that were orange. And all of these items are listed. Now, will these take a little bit longer to sell? Yes, it's gonna have to be the right person at the right time looking for this item. There's not a lot of comparables for these items. Not a lot of people are parting these out. So when the person comes along to look for this item, they're gonna buy mine. And those first two items sold pretty quickly. I think I paid a dollar or $2 for this. So I have already made my money back plus some on that. Now, there were two other Barbie cases. Um, this one right here, um, just packed full of stuff. Now, I was really excited when I saw these. I thought these were gonna be vintage Barbies. A lot of them are clones, but I still should do pretty good. All right, this one here just sold. I ended up taking a best offer of $22 for her and I have not listed all of the clothing. So I showed you what I've listed so far from that um, box or container. I ended up donating the boxes. They weren't in great condition and maybe that was a mistake, but I just didn't want to mess with them. This here are the Topper Dawn dolls. So I took everything out of here and I just put it in one big lot. Um, I have sold these before. Uh, they, they do range, but I was pretty excited to find that. And I want to say I had like three or four bucks per case. It was a really good deal. She tried to give me this for free, but I didn't take it. Uh, maybe I should have, but it was really dirty and I just didn't want to clean it. And that's the pool there. So this little guy, I have sold these before in the past. He is a dandy uh, plush figure. It did work, so I've got that listed. This jewelry I picked up, I thought it was really, really pretty. I can't think of what it's uh, called right now. This is sitting in a cabinet. I have not listed any of it yet. Um, not sure what I'm gonna do. Might be something that I bring to Whatnot. If you guys are not following me there, you can follow me at Bolo Buddies on Whatnot. And if you're not signed up, there is a link down in the description of the video. And if you click on that, you can get a $10 credit when you sign up with that link uh, to shop. So check that out down below and be sure you're following me over there. I am gonna be having uh, auctions. I should have grabbed these Legos. I did not, I'm not sure why. Um, I always pick up Legos, but I left those behind for some reason. This sale was amazing. I found so many amazing items, a lot of bread and butter, a lot of smalls, but you're gonna see how those Smalls are going to add up to big profits. All right, we're going to look through all of these boxes. Um, again, probably a lot of items you're going to see that you would have picked up. Uh, I was trying to be selective. I had, it was a long day. Uh, I love these. These are brooches. I think somebody has made these, but you can like move the wings. And I just think they'd be so cute, like sitting on your shoulder because it's a little brooch, you can like pin it to your shoulder and walk around with it on your shoulder. I think a kid or even adult would think that was pretty cool. So I do have those listed um, as a lot. All right. We are going to go over here to the toy section of this yard sale. And there was lots and lots of toys. Um, again, another item that I would typically pick up. I'm not sure why I didn't. Um, we've got some plush here. There's some bread and butter plush. Probably should have grabbed some of these also. I think they were probably either 25 cents or 50 cents. That little Mickey Mouse is super cute, but I think he had a lot of staining on him. So sometimes the effort to clean things is just not worth what you're going to make on the item. All right, I've got my little brooches there pins, brooches. Okay. Now I do hit up this plush. And as I'm watching this back, I know there's going to be somewhere I like, I should have got that. Uh, there's a lot of tie in here. I did pick up this horse. Um, it is Muffy ba Vanderbear and um, grab that. It's just going to be a bread and butter item. It's going to take the right buyer. Again, I do price my items on the high end of comps so that I can send offers and um, also 
look at offers when people send them to me. I have done really well with those. This right here, this I think that's like the Serta Sleep uh, mascot. That would probably would have been a good advertising item. Would you guys have picked that up? I don't know what that is. I sure looked at it. I did not grab it. <laughs> okay, right here, this little guy. Um, he is the Tyco Baby Baby Farm Babies. And if you guys have heard of Kitty Kitty Kittens... Uh, those are big money. Um, that little guy, I don't know how he's going to do. He's not in great condition. But if, in your, if you're in my Facebook group and you watch my videos on a regular basis, you have heard me talk about the kitty, kitty kittens. Um, they can go for crazy money. And if not, definitely search sold so you know what to look for. Because you will find them. This here is a pro and it sold really quick on a seven-day auction. That's one of those, um, I've sold a duck. They're, they just sell really well. It's like a random item that I wasn't expecting to do well, and I found one, and I sold it. So then I saw two or three in here, and I went ahead and picked those up. Couldn't find a tag on that. I did not pick up any of the tie. I do not pick those up. Um, there's a horse. If you guys see anything that I missed, let me know down in the comments. I do have quite a few big money plush videos where I show plush to be on the lookout for, plush that sells for big bucks. Uh, one of the videos is on Jelly Cat, another video is on um, Build-A-Bear, and just big money plush in general. That was a Jelly Cat that I just pulled out of there. Nice little bread and butter bolo. But some jelly cat can go for crazy money. So you definitely want to check out that video so that you don't miss out on the ones that go for hundreds of dollars. All right. Kind of looking through here, see if we can find anything else. Most of these are small, but sometimes small is mighty, right? Oh, such, you know, I will tell you the little TYs or Thai, whatever they're called. They are really cute. Here's another one of those, um, uh, ducks and they quack and they just do really good so be on the lookout for those they've got a little tag on them um, that is how I knew what they were but now I'll just recognize them and that crow sold really quick for 20 bucks so to me that is fantastic all right lots of beanie babies here um, I get a lot of questions in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group about the Beanie Babies and the errors on the tags. You guys, you're going to search solds for those and you're going to see things that look unbelievably amazing. Uh, huge, crazy sales, thousands of dollars for those. It's just not true. So don't get super excited. Whenever you search like that, also search low to high and you're going to see that a lot of them are the same ones that are going for thousands are also going for 99 cents. All right, we are digging in this tote. Um, these toys, I, I think they were four for a dollar. I don't know. The sign was right there. But I'm looking for little smalls. I will um, part out some of these. And uh, others I will just bundle. Like I grabbed the little Paw Patrol guy. I will probably put him in a vehicle. I have a whole tote of Paw Patrol items that need listed. A huge tote. Um, that was a little PJ Masks. Those I also pick up and will put in their vehicles and list them together. A lot of times you find the vehicles and not the figures, so um, it's a good idea to just pick them up, hold on to them until you have a nice little set. All right, over here we are in this bathtub, which is a fantastic idea for um, putting to put things in when you have a garage sale. I did pick up this little dinosaur. It, I think it's Jurassic Park or Jurassic World. And why didn't my screen share pop up? Let me grab that. All right, so um, found a few things in here. You're gonna see where these smalls can add up to big profits. I ended up finding two motorized trains, uh, Thomas the Train. And I got those home and tested them, and they both work. 
So I have those listed right here for $26 plus shipping with best offer available. And I do look at all the dinosaurs. I check, um, you can look on the bottom and it's gonna tell you the brand. And that's a great way to look those up. Some of them can do pretty well. This is a Duplo Lego dog and it's a little bit harder to find. So I've got that one priced at $10.40 plus shipping or best offer. And I did find some Mattel dollhouse figures and I believe they are loving family from my research. So two cowgirls, I've got this one coming up here. Oh, not yet. Uh, so those horse and animal figures, I do look at the bottom of those. They will have brands on them. I'm looking for like Safari, and AAA and the different ones like that. Okay, so those are the dollhouse figures. Those can do pretty well, definitely be on the lookout. I'm not sure who that one was. I didn't end up picking her up. If I did, she's somewhere in a box. I think I probably should have grabbed these patches. I did leave them behind because I thought that they looked newer, but um, not really sure. I also think I probably should have grabbed that. There was a lot of stuff on this table in little bags, and I do like things like that, so I'm surprised I left those behind. I did grab that lock with the key. Um, finding the locks with the keys that are vintage, can some of those can go for really big money. I have an older video on locks and keys. Definitely go and check that one out. All right, again, lots of little bags full of stuff, and you know, the prices weren't too bad. They probably would have been fun little um, junk drawer lot items. Those are little Barbie hangers. Probably should have grabbed those as well. For my Barbie people watching, would you have grabbed the little hangers for a buck? All right, I did grab that. And that, uh, I believe it was a McDonald's. Uh, it's kind of like a Polly Pocket, but more the for boys, I think. And this is another vintage Polly Pocket McDonald's. I have not listed either of those yet. Um, I may bundle those with some other things, but I did pick those up. All right. Moving along here. I did grab this. This whole container was $4. Um, haven't done much with it. I kind of like looked through it a little bit. Um, I may bring that over to Whatnot and kind of go through it with you guys. That would be fun. If you're not following me on Whatnot, again, that is linked down below, and you can also search Bolo Buddies. But if you're not already joined up there, you can uh, use my link down below and you'll get a $10 credit to shop. And when you sign up, I get a $10 credit to shop. So it is a referral link. That's pretty cool. I think that's a little uh, lipstick case. Anyway, just digging through here. For four bucks, I feel like there's gotta be some stuff in there that is, um, is worth buying, right? Lots of fun little vintage pieces, some jewelry and different little characters and toys and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. All right, that's a skunk. <laughs> this was kind of cool. I thought about getting this, but I ended up leaving it behind. There's an old vintage pin. Some of those pin backs can do pretty good. Left a lot of stuff Left a lot of money on the table, I'm guessing. But I did get that for four bucks. All right, this is a cabbage patch, but it was in poor condition. If that would have been in better condition, I definitely would have picked that up. Some of these um, patches, I think they go on like the varsity and the different jackets. Some of those can do okay. All right, this here is strawberry shortcake. Um, paper. And I did pick this up and I mailed this out to Toy Attic. She loves strawberry shortcake and she has an awesome YouTube channel. Definitely go and sub her up. I will link that down in the description of the video. This little witch is pretty cool. Um, I looked at it and I didn't pick it up. So I'm guessing there was a reason I left it behind. Maybe it was not vintage, but I probably still would have sold and it was only 75 cents. Probably would have been a good pickup. Let me know in the comments, would you have picked up the witch? All right, 
I just saw that mug. I don't remember seeing that. Now I do pick through um, this jewelry. There was a whole table of jewelry and uh, I really didn't buy much. Uh, let me know if you guys see anything that maybe I passed by, but I did find a little treasure and I'm going to show you guys that here shortly. Definitely something that is always on my radar that I pick up. Oh, that's cute. A little troll pin. Um, I don't know where I'm going with it. I think I moved it to so I could look through it. That's so funny. Uh, I don't remember doing that, but I carried it off to the side. So I'm basically just looking for anything that catches my eyes that might be vintage or maybe a harder to find item that is worth picking up. Most of the items were priced at 25 cents to a dollar. This one here was a couple bucks. I did not get it. Most of it, you know, just costume jewelry and cheap costume jewelry. Some costume jewelry can be really amazing. So definitely not downplaying costume jewelry because I have found some amazing stuff. I was hoping to find like some vintage brooches that were signed, but nothing like that in this tote. All right. Here we are. 25 cents vintage goodie hair combs. So they're little combs that slide into your hair. I got those for a quarter. Uh, those are always a good pickup. If you guys don't know, vintage hair accessories can be big money. Um, I do have a video on that if you want to check it out. Vintage hair accessories. I did pick these up. I um, haven't done anything with them yet. I was thinking about bringing those to Whatnot also. I thought those were pretty cool. Um, they're Halloween themed and people just love Halloween items. So we'll see. Haven't decided if I'm going to put those on eBay or if I'm going to bring those to Whatnot. Definitely trying to... Um, Pull things to the side because I am definitely going to give whatnot a go. All right. Do you guys see anything? Lots and lots of little baggies. I mean, the people that set this up, they had a lot of time in pricing. And if you think about it, like 25 cents here and there, I mean, they spent so much time setting up this yard sale. I was probably here for over an hour. It was a fantastic sale. It takes a lot of time to look through all the smalls. And we're going to move on from the jewelry here soon. I probably should have cut some of this out, but I always like to um, get everyone's feedback on things that I may have missed or should have picked up. I might have picked up a couple of those things, and I probably just sat them to the side once I got home. I have to find them. I feel like I got the two in my hand there. So I do, I think I remember bringing them inside, but I don't know where I put them. So I have not listed them yet. They may end up coming to what, what not also. Those are kind of cool. I don't know if they have any value or not. All right. Sorry, guys. I spent much longer in this area than I expected. I should have cut some of this out probably, but I know tons of people like looking at jewelry, so... All right, those were some type of label holders. They caught my eye because they looked vintage, but I did not pick those up. A lot of this stuff here is crafting items, and some of it probably, you know, would have sold, but um, I have so much inventory. I did not pick up any of these items, but I did give it a good look over. Um, I actually did pick up something... Um, these right here. I did pick those up and that's because one of those dragon brooches that I showed you earlier was missing the pin. So I grabbed that so I could include one of those in the listing so someone can repair it. But I believe that's all I got over here. We are going to keep moving right along. And again, these are just all crafting items. If you were a crafter, you would have loved this sale because they had a lot of cool stuff. This is tools, stuff like that. I did not pick anything up here. Um, I did find a few more things that I picked up, so stay tuned. We're going to work our way over to that area. 
Just different items here. More crafting. Little, uh, some of those items might have been good for like a dollhouse or something. All right. Little party, uh, birthday party things. That'd be great for somebody who's having a birthday party, but no real resale value probably for those. Maybe they'd do well on Poshmark. I don't know. I feel like Poshmark's a good place for stuff like that because people can bundle cheaply. That maybe I should have grabbed. This I definitely should have grabbed. The reason I didn't grab it is because there was only one, but I think it still would have sold. So I think that was a mistake not getting that. Little toys. I left that behind, so I must not have seen anything special in there. What's that little thing to the left? I didn't even pick that up. Huh. All right. I did find something in this tote. Um, I think this is adorable. Uh, I believe it's Lou Rankin by... Um, Oh, it's a plush, but it's super cute little bunny, and it's got the little baby attached to it, so I did grab that. So that is currently listed in my eBay store. Maybe that'll sell around Easter. A lot of people are looking for bunny rabbits to put in their Easter baskets, so um, I have a tendency to sell more bunnies um, before Easter. This little shoehorn, I went ahead and picked that up. It was cheap. And it was vintage, and I just thought it was kind of cool and <laughs> something different, so I did grab that. Probably not my best pickup ever, but you know I like bread and butter, so. This here I would have picked up if it would not have been broken. It was Jim Shore. Jim Shore can do really well. Um, right here we're just looking at a bunch of little trinkets and different figures. There is another strawberry shortcake item that I picked up that I sent over to Toy Attic, right here it is. I sent that with that wrapping paper. So um, she got them and she's like, I actually do not have these two items. So I was really excited to be able to find something for her that she didn't already have. I think I, all right, you guys, that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.